The next question, the member for Orléans. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health. Uh, recently, recently, cystic fibrosis community here in Ontario and across Canada was thrilled to hear that Vertex Pharmaceuticals intends to submit an application to bring Trikafta to sure. Canada. Much like COVID-19, cystic fibrosis is a disease that has devastating impacts on the lungs and one's ability to breathe. The main difference, Mr. Speaker, is that when COVID-19 uh, is behind us, order. Stop the clock. Government House Leader will come to order. The member for Timmins will come to order. And if you want to continue this conversation, you can do it outside the chamber. And I can facilitate that as well, if need be. Order. Order. Start the clock. Again, the member for Orléans. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. When the COVID-19 virus is behind us, uh, cystic fibrosis patients will still be living with this terrible reality. Uh, as the Minister and the Parliamentary Assistant know, the, the Pan-Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance is currently negotiating pricing for Orcombi and Kaleidico, other gene modulators developed by Vertex, uh, the same company. Will the government stand up for Ontarians with cystic fibrosis and take a leadership role in having the Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance negotiate a price for Trikafta now in conjunction with the current negotiations Question. for Orcombi and Kaleidico? To respond, member for Eglinton Lawrence. Thank you, Speaker. Our government takes the needs of all Ontarians very seriously, and we know that those living with cystic fibrosis are very hopeful that new drugs can provide some relief from the stress that they have to deal with every day. And let me be clear, we too hope all of these new drugs are able to provide the promised improvements. We know that access to these new drug therapies is important, especially in less common diseases with significant health impacts and where there are limited treatment options. But there is an established evidence-based process for making funding decisions which considers the clinical effectiveness of the drugs, safety, patient input, affordability, and the effects on other health services. This process ensures the safety and the efficacy of every new drug product as well as the sustainability of, of our provincial health care systems. We're aware that Health Canada has granted Vertex a priority review for Trikafta, and now that Health Canada Response. has granted it uh, for Trikafta, Vertex will have 60 days to submit the drug for review by the federal agency. And the supplementary question. Uh, merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, Camille Rochon est une jeune fille de 12 ans de ma circonscription d'Orléans et l'une des nombreuses personnes atteintes de fibrose cristique en Ontario dont la vie dépend de l'accès d'opportunité de Trikafta. Les essais cliniques ont prouvé que Trikafta est la plus grande innovation dans l'histoire de traitement de la fibrose cristique et la recherche démontre que s'il était approuvé rapidement au Canada, il pourrait réduire les nombres de décès par 15 Le ministre fédéral de la Santé s'est publiquement engagé à accélérer le processus de Trikafta. Mais des patients comme Camille, euh, qui sont parmi les membres de la plus vulnérable de notre communauté, ne peuvent pas se prendre euh, plus de longtemps. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Est-ce que le gouvernement s'engagera-t-il à négocier immédiatement avec Vertex afin qu'une fois approuvé, il puisse être prescrit dès que possible aux patients désespérés atteints de FK? Again, the parliamentary assistant. Thank you, Speaker. We take the struggle of cystic fibrosis, fibrosis patients like Camille very seriously, and their families, frankly. We take their struggles very seriously, and we recognize that access to these new drug therapies is important with these less common diseases. That's why we're very happy to see that conversations are proceeding. But let's be clear, it's not as simple as Ontario sitting down and meeting with the drug manufacturer. The price negotiations are conducted through the Pan-Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance, and furthermore, Ontario is just one of many participants at the table for these talks, and it would be really inappropriate or premature for us to provide a timeline for completion. However, the member can rest assured that we too are looking forward to the results of these conversations uh, and diligently monitoring the situation. Uh, Vertex has provided the following statement. Vertex has confirmed Response. that they are planning to move forward with future CF medications in Canada. Vertex has also confirmed that Health Canada has granted priority review and that they have 60 days to submit their file to Health Canada.